Hello Taurus, we're getting ready to do your reading. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot, welcome. For all of those who would like to make a request for a specific kind of reading, please leave it in the comments, I'm starting to do that. I produced a couple of videos that have been very popular with the subscribers. Also too, I used to travel internationally for a living. I would love to hear where you are watching the video from around the globe. Three of Wands, Taurus, your ships have come into the harbor. What is going on? You have a love interest. You have your eye. You're very focused on somebody. Somebody's very focused on you. Your energy coming in is Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. You're all up in your head about something. Not the most helpful energy. You may have remorse or regret about a lost opportunity, but we're going to clarify everything for you. We also have the King of Wands energy, feminine King of Wands. So it looks like you're very attracted to somebody who's very fiery, who's sort of magical. Somebody who may not have spoken to you recently. Gemini is all about communication. And we have Six of Wands, a victory. That's Leo energy. So we have Leo energy here twice. So you may be dealing with a Leo fire sign. Let's see what their energy is coming into the reading. All right. We see, oh, Aries Queen. Okay. Very fiery, very, very success oriented. Aries Queen can be um, somebody who is very successful in business. You know them through work. They're very enthusiastic, sexy, outgoing, very compatible with fire sign energy uh, of Leo the sharp end of the spear. This is a person who doesn't back down. They go after what they want. They're very straightforward, very to the point. Sunflower energy. I love this sunflower. It's a pretty happy person. Ooh, now we have Sag energy. You have a trifecta of fire sign energy. There's a lot of passion here. Your person's coming in with a playful energy. We see flirty, playful, not really looking at things long term, living a day at a time, coming in and out, enjoying themselves. They like a lot of attention. They, you know, it looks like they may have a job in the public eye, is what I'm seeing. But they're fun, they're sexy. Six of Cups, this person wants a reunion with you. They want to spend time with you. There is some really deep love here because Scorpio energy is a very intense energy. You may have known this person for a very long time, Taurus. You may be yearning to go to someone in the past um, with whom you still have the ability to talk to them, but it doesn't really look like there's a lot happening here. So let's look in, cl let's clarify these energies first, and then we'll look at the outcome for you. We'll look at what spirit's advice is for you, as well as any tricky energies that we see here. I think that Nine of Swords is basically the, the energy that I'll clarify most. Okay, so Three of Wands. Why do you feel, 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 <laughs> be nice to be able to talk. Why do you feel that your ships have arrived in the harbor? Hierophant, you have what you feel is a very traditional, you want a very traditional relationship with somebody. You feel it's possible. I feel you're up in your head because you're not really getting the sign from the person of interest that they're feeling the same way. Three of Swords energy could be a third party situation, but it definitely some heartbreak here with that Nine of Swords, Three of Swords. Your person may be married to someone else, but I don't think they are because we've got that Knight of Wands energy. But it looks like they're just not giving you any focused attention. You may feel that they're dating other people with that the Knight of Wands energy, somebody who comes in quickly, all about the passion, leaves quickly. Justice card, you want a balanced relationship. That's Libra energy. You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You're very serious, Taurus. This is your card. Here you are in the reading, the Hierophant. You want a traditional, stable relationship, but you don't think this person's going to give it to you. We see the Five of Coins. You feel left out in the cold. You feel like this person is off trotting around, doing whatever they want to do, leaping through hoops on a horse. <laughs> Okay, so why do we have the Nine of Swords here? Hanged man, you don't know what to do. You're feeling like, again, all up in your head, trying to look at things from a different perspective. So you've just decided to do nothing. It's okay. I think it's great energy when you don't know what to do. Doing nothing is oftentimes the right decision. Four of Swords says that you're trying to heal your heart. You just feel as though this person, you feel like you know the lay of the land here and that they're not going to give you what you want. 
The Knight of Swords says that you really want to tell them, you want to speak your truth. The Chariot card is telling me that um, you really want to say, honey, I'm home, or, you know, hey, what's going on over here? You want to ask this question so badly, why they aren't coming around, why they seem to be focused elsewhere. You do know that this person works a lot. You do, you know, you don't necessarily think they're doing anything wrong, but you're feeling really sad about where you're at in this relationship. The Wheel of Fortune, you're going to bide your time. You're going to wait and see what happens. You'll make a move if something seems like you should. But the Ten of Swords says that you're feeling very defeated in this relationship because this person has not been speaking to you. So Taurus, Taurus, what is going on here? So I will say this. A lot of times, and I've really noticed this in the Taurus readings, there's a family member that's been haunting the Taurus readings for, I would say, well over a year now. So there could be a situation that, you know, it's a family member. I do read it as a love reading, but it can also be anyone else. Take it as it resonates. But it is impacting your love relationship. So what is going on with the lack of talking here? with a family member that's legacy family love m legacy marriage why do we have the six of wands you want a victory here the two of coins two of coins three of swords somebody's being juggled now Taurus it looks like it could be you I feel as though that's how you're feeling about this you're feeling sad and left out in the cold son of pentacles that is the Knight of Pentacles, you're in this very reliable energy. You want to win, you want a victory, but your person is, you're reliable, but we're seeing you trying to be cool, aloof, trying to use, you know, come to head over heart decisions. Why do we have the Aries Queen here for your person? Son of Cups. So that is Knight of Cups energy. So when this person comes in, they come in romantically towards you. You know, they're trying to make a cup of love, but Judgment Card says that it looks as though you might feel that they've released you. But what decision have they made? Okay. The problem that I'm seeing is that they're using bad judgment and they're not really giving you the affection. You're feeling very much like the affection is tainted in some way. Tell us more about this, the moon card. They're being very secretive. They're hiding things. What are they hiding? Six of Cups. Wow. Okay, so I can read this two different ways. There's often more than one storyline. I don't want to confuse anybody, but one of the storylines I see, Taurus, is that you could be in a third-party situation. This could be the other woman who's now ignoring you and just, you know, going back to another lover has you in your head, you're feeling sad, but it does look like Taurus, like you could be married. Somebody's married here, most likely. The Aries queen is usually quote unquote the other woman. Now, what's interesting here is that you seem to be having a lot of angst about this. They don't seem to be having any angst at all. What I'm getting here and what I'm reading is that they're being mysterious. They do care. You care about each other a great deal. Your person has got the Six of Cups here twice. They do want a reunion. The Moon card says that they've gone silent. They do feel as though this is toxic. They feel as though they would like to make an offer of love, but they feel like with that Judgment card, they really can't. That it's just not available. You're not really available to them. Virgo had a very similar reading. Very interesting. Again, you know, third party can be taking care of parents, it can be taking care of children after a divorce where you don't really have a normal single life because your weekends are filled with other people. Um, this person may travel for a living quite literally. They could be a flight attendant, a pilot, or, you know, somebody who travels around locally. The Ten of Wands. Your person is feeling like it's very burdensome to meet your expectations. They feel as though they're being juggled. They feel as though you're the one who has a third party. Would they like to have a new beginning with you? Yes, they do feel very foolish. 
you know, but they also, they really like you. They really love you. The Nine of Cups is eat, drink, and be merry. Your person is not taking this as seriously as you, although they love you very deeply because they see the truth for what it is, and that is that they feel as though, you know, they're not going to get to have you, that at the end of the day, that you're not their future, and they're going to choose happiness. Yep, there we go, Capricorn energy. They feel as though this is just something that is never going to happen and that you know they have to release the situation I feel it yeah the death card that is really trying to release the situation I mean it looks like the two of you really love each other will always love each other you might have known each other a long time with the six of cups let's look and see what the outcome is for this reading though short term you know readings oftentimes every relationship has its ups and downs even the ocean goes to low tide. Taurus, here you are in your reading again, here and here. The King of Pentacles is typically a daddy card, typically a married man. Two of Wands is being at a crossroads, and the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, just leaving it to chance, basically. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, but, you, you know, again, the outcome is that both of you as a couple are at a crossroads. Let's look and see the clarifiers for the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is your energy, Taurus. It's a daddy card, the father card, ace of pentacles. You're really in love with this person, but you're also in love with the merit. You know, we can love two people. I always find it interesting as a reader. People go, well, if they really loved me, they can't love another person. And that's not true. You may, your love may be very different, but and we, we have children. We love more than one. We have family members. We love more than one. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups, your person... Both of you really want this to work and be happy. There's a connection that's unbelievably powerful. There's a deep love, Pisces energy, but Pisces is sacrifice. And so we get the Queen of Cups again. Both of you really love each other. The Four of Wands, a love of, you, you know, the you feel as though this is a twin flame situation that both of you would love to be together. You'd love to own a home together. You'd love to be married, but... You know, with this death card, your person is not seeing that they, that's an option. The Two of Wands, what's the crossroads here? The Emperor card, somebody has to take a leadership role for this to go anywhere. Tell us more about the Emperor, please. The Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. So what we're seeing here is Emperor energy is Aries energy. It looks to me as though you're dealing with a fire sign. And it looks to me as though they feel as though they should leave you as the king of pentacles, a mother and a father, a husband and a wife, they feel as though they should leave you alone. They feel as though they should stay out of your life and let you have a good life. The nine of cups, they really love you. They are coming from a place of intense tenderness, love, soulmate energy. This six of cups is a soulmate card. It's here twice for your person. Twin flames is here, but yeah, two of cups, man. They really love you, but... That's a bride and groom card. I mean, what they would like to have with you and what they expect to have with you are very different, Taurus. This is really tough. Page of Cups. I feel like they're always going to be a part of your life if you allow it. The Page of Cups says that, you know, they're, they're giving you a little bit of affection. They feel as though they have to tone it down, that they're not really entitled to have more. Your person's trying to be very respectful of your life, Taurus. They're trying to have a good life for themselves. This You're dealing with an empress, so queen of wands and an empress um, energy. Somebody who knows how attractive they are. Somebody who attracts a lot of people. They attract quality people. Page of wands. Both of you are, you both spy on each other. That's usually the page of swords, but we have that big magnifying glass. So both of you are trying to, you know, deal with this is what I would say. Let it go. Five of Cups. There's sadness. There's disappointment. Taurus, it does look like you're suffering, though. Both of you are holding back. So that's the overall energy. Let's see what, let, those are the clarifiers. Let's see what Spirit has to say about this relationship. But it looks as though you're at a crossroads and your person feels as though, uh, to do the right thing by both of you, they need to step aside. They expected to fall in love with you. You expected to fall in love with them, but it's not working as a practical matter. 
Playfulness, elves. Okay, well, we're going to look at uh, Heart of the Fairy Oracle. So we're going to be looking at fairies, not elves, but both of you have really had a wonderful time in this relationship. It's been very magical. It's been playful. It's been quite lovely. I could see why you wouldn't want to lose a relationship. I can see why they feel like they have to end it. Sanctuary, look at that. You're one another's sanctuary. That is the Mystic Meadow. So both of you really will sort of suffer without each other. I mean, that soulmate energy here is very powerful. New beginnings, you're both... It looks like you're going off in a different direction for your new beginnings. But let's go ahead and clarify that. Are the new beginnings with each other or the new beginnings with different people? Lover's card. That's a choice card. You are lovers. There's sadness. It looks as though both of you are going to part ways on amiable, positive terms. You're going to make the choice. It's going to be very painful for both of you. That's what it looks like to me, Taurus. Let's see what the Heart of the Fairy Oracle says here. Okay. Tell us something about this relationship that would help heal Taurus's heart. This is a this is a tough one. I can't figure this out. These we don't do reversals, so with this deck, there's just no reversal. So I've got my deck all sort of messy here. So I'll just turn everything up right. Okay. So tell us what the heart of the issue is here. What is going on in terms of Taurus from their viewpoint? The Lady of Sorrows. The, Taurus, you're mourning the loss. You can't quite get over the loss of Whatever choice you make feels like you're going to lose because if you leave your family, you're going to lose them. If you leave your lover, you're going to lose them. You're going to make the traditional, healthy, you know, taking care of the most people because of that daddy card. It's a tremendous card of responsibility. We get the paradox. Really feeling like a spiritual choice has to be made to quote unquote do the right thing by your family. The juggler, you know, it looks like you've been all up in your head because you have been juggling with the three of swords it looks like there may have even been a discovery from a spouse who may have given you an ultimatum with the justice card the returning okay so you're going to return back home let's look at your person and see what their energy is coming in here we have the fairy of naughtiness there you know they feel as though this is kind of the karma that they got for breaking the rules. It was fun. It was delightful. It was magical. They're glad that they did it. But at the end of the day, they they feel as though they showed their behind by participating. You know, some way or another, they just feel a, a bit foolish. The challenge. They just feel like this is too, too challenging to, to deal with. They, you know, we have tank... Your person wants to be playful. They want to be happy. They want to honor what's good in what you've had. And we get the remembrance that they will never, ever, ever forget you, Taurus. I do feel as though you'll be probably friends forever. Let's check on that to make sure that's correct. But I feel as though for now you're calling a halt to this. The captive man, there you go. Taurus, I think you're the captive you're the captive man, whether you're man or woman. It looks as though you just feel very stuck. In. But, you know, the one thing about the captive man is a captive man absolutely enjoyed the experience of being a captive to one and in love with another. So the captive man is, you know, I mean, choices were made. You had pleasure. Um, no shade. You know, life is, life is really challenging and... Sometimes we marry before we meet our soulmate or our twin flame, but I see a lot of hope, of lo a lot of happiness and love between two people. So, you know, it'll be different for everyone. Uh, sending you love from Chicago. Take it as it resonates. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, Taurus.